guys, it's Christina Sierra here and welcome back to my channel. So 23 days ago, I started the Daniel Fast and it has been an amazing experience. Throughout the 21 days, I have been vlogging and I put together some videos to share with you all. Um, I hope you all enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss a video. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye. Hey, it's Christina here. So I just wanted to come on and do a, a little vlog of day one, which is only like one o'clock. Yes, it's 1240 right now. Um, but I just kind of want to say like kind of what's going on. So um, I was up by six o'clock today. Um, for the past few days, so I've been getting up really early, like four o'clock and um, we've been able to be so productive. Um, I, I know now, which I've known it now, but I've told myself that it's better for me to wake up earlier than it is for me to stay up late because come 10 o'clock, even with me staying up um, after 10, my body is drained and um, I don't have the same energy as I would if it was early in the morning. So even if I am like trying to get some things done, I'm working or whatever, my brain, like it's so hard for me to focus that late at night. So when I'm up early, <clears throat> excuse me, when I'm up early, I'm refreshed and like I'm ready to to, to just start the day. So um, I know now that that is extremely important. And if I ever, um, if I ever give myself the question or, or if I ever ask myself the question, would you rather stay up late and get things done or go to bed early so that I can get up early in the morning, I'm going to go to bed early. So, um, but because I knew that I was starting this um, little Daniel Fast inspired um, fast, I was up a little late. I think it was maybe 12, 12.30 when I went to bed. Um, and that's just because I was like kind of saying goodbye to life for, you know, I was trying to get some things done that weren't really, um, important or get some things done that I did not want to have to do while I was on my fast. Um, put some things in order to make this, this time, this month as, um, easy or I should say like relaxing, um, as possible. So I was going through emails, checking emails, making sure, you know, I, didn't have anything to respond to. Um, even for my social media, I was thinking of post, thinking ahead of posts and all that, so I wouldn't have to like really be doing a whole lot. I can, you know, actually focus on reading and um, listening to auto audio books and all that. But so I was up by six. Um, I was able to just kind of start the day. Um, went into prayer. I have my little journal here, which I started um, a while ago. But this here has. Um, I read and write about the women of the Bible inside of here. I'm just trying to see if I can show it to you. So like this here. I just read about some of the women in the Bible. Like I pick a woman a day, read about it, and then I write um, about that, that woman in the Bible. And um, I started to do that again, so I was able to do it this morning. Today I read about Rachel. Um, so, um, it's been going good. Got a, a lot done, spiritually anyway, um, in the morning. So I prayed, I read the, read the Bible. I plan on um, reading more <coughs> of my auto books that I have for, um, I have one for the book of Esther. I want to go ahead and finish that, see if I can get it finished. Um, just some audio books that I want to listen to just throughout the month to just, you know, stay focused on the Father. And um, I did eat. I ate around 12.30, so I literally just got done eating like 10, 20 minutes ago. What is it, Zaya? What do you want? More what? Give me, one, give me a second. So to help me prepare for um, the week, yesterday I made some um, fruit salad. And the fruit salad is just like fruit mixed in a bowl. Um, I used to make this years ago, but I stopped making it for some reason. And um, it also has some nuts in it, has some pecans in it. And I also um, chopped up some watermelon. So I had that in there, just kind of ready to go. There's lots of, you know, fruits and vegetables and things in there. So um, I did that last night so that I can have that 
I don't know how long that's gonna last, but throughout the week. So, um, it's been going good so far. Like, I'm really excited about, um, this journey that I am on. Um, I know my mind is ready, my body is ready, and, um, I'm just excited to see what happens. But I just want to come on and just do a little vlog. So, this is day one. This is around one o'clock. And, um... I don't know, maybe I'll come back on in a few days to see how I'm doing. Hey, it's Christina here. So I am coming just to talk about my um, journey on this Daniel Fast inspired fast. Um, so I, this is what they, day three, it is 10, 10 50. So, um, almost 11 o'clock a.m. and I just kind of want to break down what I've been like doing thus far. It's only been three days but I am feeling good um, and I'm not feeling like good as far as um, like energy and all of that because I know that's going to take a while for me to um, really get that full effect but I'm feeling good it's just in just the the day-to-day -day, um, what I'm doing the decisions that I'm making the time that I'm spending with my family the time that I'm spending with the father so I um, want to talk about just the last three days, day one, um, I had some, I prepped some food, some fruits and vegetables. I had a fruit salad and the fruit salad just, just consisted of fruits and um, some pecans. And I also had, um, oh yeah, on day one I had a like sauteed vegetables. There's different vegetables, broccoli, green beans, um, potatoes, carrots, uh, I think it was something else, onions, but it was just um, vegetables, like kind of sauteed on top of the stove. I was wanting to get that, what I can't remember what you call them, but the breakfast um, potatoes, you know, the ones that are like crispy, um, they're like little bitty chunks, but I sauteed them like that, but Day one, I just ate on that all day. Day two, yesterday, I was on the road a lot. Um, for a few hours, I was on the road. Uh, maybe around 11 until 2, 2.30, um, I made it back home. And I went ahead and I grabbed a rice bowl. So I went out and I just grabbed something, a rice bowl. It was really good guys um i did use the um incredible meat i mean I, I didn't use like any other chicken or the beef but i did use the incredible meat which is you know vegan and um what else that day yesterday i did have headaches like i say around right when i left actually around 11 11 30 is when i started to notice the headaches was were coming on and um, just by the time I got home, as I was pulling up in the driveway, I was like, oh my goodness, like I, I feel tired. Yesterday, my body was tired. I was sleepy for one. I felt as though I didn't get enough sleep. Um, I've been trying to wake up earlier and earlier. So I think my body is adjusting to that. But then I had a really massive headache. And um, I told myself when I get home, I said, we'll just go lay down. I had a couple of coaching calls, one-on-one -on -one coaching calls that that evening what one was 3 30 and the other one was around 4 30. so i was able to just kind of come home you know said hello to everybody get the kids situated and then i went and laid down and said okay well i have an hour to kind of lay down and chill out let me see if i can take a nap um wasn't able to take a nap i just couldn't get comfortable you know my head was hurting i think i dozed off for like 10 15 minutes um i had the kids kind of coming back and forth asking for stuff too so that didn't help but um 3 30 i had a call so i got on the call and um after that one i had to get ready for the next one and by the the last call that i had my headache was like kind of gone i was still tired um so i tried to go lay back down i couldn't go to sleep so i said let me go ahead and get up and move around so i went ahead and made um another fruit salad so i went ahead to start prepping for um today tomorrow today um so I did that, then the kids laid down, and then I just chilled out. Like, I didn't do any work or anything. I have been really doing the minimum. Um, I'm not on social media as much. Like, I'm not using um, social media marketing. I'm not doing any of that right now. I am 
still inside my groups. Some of my groups, like I'm obligated to be there. I have memberships and things like that. Um, I have one-on-one -on -one sections, things like that. So I do have to go and check in on everyone to make sure that they're okay. Um, and to set up, you know, coaching calls and all of that. So I'm still doing that. But that day-to-day -day interact interaction on Facebook, I'm not doing. Um, I may get on there and scroll, but even that is, I don't want to say it's exhausting, but it's like, okay, I'm, I'm kind of over this. So I'm not on social media as much. Um, I am doing some work. I am redoing my website and I've accomplished a lot on my website, um, which I'm ex extremely excited about. I'm redoing the whole thing, um, a little bit of rebranding. I got a new logo and all of that. So I'm trying to get it updated. Um, I am not a web designer. Um, I do know how to create um, websites and pages and things like that, but that's not like my specialty. I'm not that creative type of person, but I do know how to put it together. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, trying to get it to look as professional as possible that I can do on my own. And it's coming together nicely. I'm, I'm liking the upgrades. So um, I've been working on that. I've been um, reading the um, or reading about women in the Bible. So um, I haven't done it yet. I've been doing it early in the morning. I woke up late today, but um, I read about Rachel. Yesterday I did Leah. Um, I'm not sure who I'm going to do today. Um, what else? What else? What else? I think that's it. So, like I said, day three um, of this morning, I went ahead. I was trying to figure out what I was going to eat. And I said, okay, I'll go ahead and do a soup. So, I went ahead and chopped up all of the vegetables that I'm going to be using. I put them in a container, sealed the container so that whenever I'm ready to eat, um, I can go ahead and just turn on the stove and, you know, mix everything together. I don't have to chop and cut and peel and all of that. Um, I, before I start to do this fast, I was, um, uh, intermittent fasting. Like I did that for a while. I want to say maybe, uh, maybe six months. Um, I would intermittent, I would, inter I would do intermittent fasting, um, like off and on. I would do it and then I would stop like for a day or two. I would just kind of eat whenever and then I would get back on it. Like, so it was kind of like, like it was, um ups and down, ups and down, ups and down. But um, I said that to say that I'm used to eating later. Like I'm used to not eating breakfast. I never really did enjoy breakfast. Um, breakfast to me always made me tired. Like after I eat breakfast early in the morning, I eat breakfast and I kind of feel tired. Like I don't have that energy. Um, and also it makes me hungry. Like I notice whenever I eat breakfast, I am constantly hungry throughout the day. So um, years ago, I just kind of wasn't really feeling breakfast. I would still eat it if I wanted to. But when I actually started to do intermittent fasting, that's when I said, okay, well, I'm definitely going to cut out breakfast. You don't have to worry about me eating breakfast. So um, I first started by eating like at around 12. And now um, eventually, or here recently, um, I started to eat around 3 o'clock. So I would eat around 3 until around 7 or 8. Even if I wanted to eat later, I could. Um, my schedule was a little off. I was sometimes during that time, I would be up until like 4 o'clock in the morning working. So I would sometimes eat later, but I wouldn't start, I wouldn't start eating until 3 o'clock. And I would have that, you know, that window to still eat um, if I wanted to. But, um, so it's easy for me to not eat breakfast or eat early in the morning um i think i've been eating around 12 around noon is when i say okay um, if you're hungry you can go ahead and eat um and that's what i'm going to do just continue to do if i'm not hungry like if i can push it then i will push it but if i'm hungry and then i'm going to eat if it's after 12 again my body is used to not eating that early so um but yeah, I did some, yesterday was like, I knew I was going through detoxing, but it wasn't that bad though. I will say that it wasn't bad. Um, like I know sometimes when I detox and I could, it, it could not be the end of it to tell you the truth. But, um, sometimes when I detox, I get really nauseous, like, oh my goodness, like I just need to sit down. My headache is just boom, 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 boom. And I'm sick. Like I want to throw up. Um, I didn't get that any of that. Um, the headache was still a, a strong like headache, but it wasn't like boom, 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 um, as intense as it could be or, or as intense as I have experienced in the past. Um, also, I would say that leading up to this Daniel fast, um, 
I was eating better. Like I don't I don't think my body had a lot to detox from. Whereas in the past, you know, I was eating um, a lot of fast foods or a lot of sweets, um, sodas, or maybe even caffeine. Because, like I said, my schedule was a little off. I would be up at 4 o'clock in the morning. I had to start drinking coffee. So I would drink coffee just to stay up that late so that I can get things done. Um, but I think leading up to this um, fast here, my body doesn't have a lot to de as much to detox from. But... Again, I could still, you know, experience some more detoxing um, just throughout, you know, in a couple of days. Um, but I think day two is usually the hardest for me. But, um, yeah, that's all I have is what's coming update. And I will talk to you all soon. Hey, it's Christina here. I am just coming to do an update for day five. It is day five. The week went by so fast. Um, last night, I remember just realizing that um, it was Thursday. I was like, oh my goodness, like tomorrow's Friday. Like the week is basically over. Um, so it's been um, good. It hasn't really been difficult. Um, it is currently three o'clock. It is three o'clock in the afternoon and I have not yet eaten. Um, I've stated earlier how before I did this fast, I was for some months now or some months ago, I was intermittent fasting and I would not usually eat until like three o'clock. And I think this is the reason why I'm not like starving right now. It's three o'clock and I haven't eaten anything. All I've done was drunk water. I think my body is just used to it. So um, I am about to eat. I have a rice bowl that I'm going to be eating. But um, I just wanted to come to an update. The headaches, yesterday I had um, a small headache and then today is very mild. Like I can hardly feel it, but I know that it's there. So it's not bad at all. Um, I'm, I know I need to drink more water. I'm not drinking enough water, so I need to drink more water. Um, it just, I, feel, I feel good. Um, I know that... I know that there's still a lot of um, detoxing and things that need to happen. So, um, but like I said, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm not um, like kind of missing anything. Um, I am used to having sweets and um, I just been using or eating the fruit salads instead of the sweets. Um, but I just want to come and do an update. Um, it's going good. This is day five. I will talk to you all soon. Hey, it's Christina here. Um, I just wanted to come and give you all an update. Today is day seven, seven days. Man, it's crazy. Um, it is currently 5.13 a.m. I've been up since around 2.30, say 2.45. Um, I went into prayer um, around 3.10 and um, did my praying and then I did some worship and then I watched a um, sermon or it's kind of like a conference of um, someone on YouTube. It's just it was just on YouTube, so I would have let, let it play as I was just straightening up some things around the office. But um, I just wanted to come and do an update. So um, I so I I've, I've, I'm on day seven, and this has almost been a week. Tonight will be a complete um, a complete week. But um, I just want to. Yesterday I spent the day really trying to just evaluate um, my week, evaluate the the fast itself, um, evaluate what I can do better, you know, um, just taking notes and things, really just sitting there meditating, thinking, what, what do I need to do? What does the Father require me to do? Um, what is my spirit telling me to do? And what can I do better? Yesterday was such a beautiful day. I was outside with the kids all day. I say around um, 11.30, we went outside, we stayed out there all day, they had their lunch out there, they had their snacks out there, um, they just literally just kind of like, you know, chilled outside, I was on a porch, um, reading, um, and just listening to um, some YouTube videos, um, about like fasting and praying and things, so I was really able to just kind of, um, absorb a lot, um, of, of more knowledge and information, but, um, I just want to come come and do talk about what I will be doing different differently going into the um, next two weeks. Um, so first, I want to mention that um, yesterday 
I started to have headaches. Like my headaches get stronger and stronger, and I started to feel nauseous. Um, it was really weird to me because I thought that I was um, kind of past the really intense type of detox, but um, for some reason, like I said, I was outside all day. Um, it was a beautiful day, like just beautiful, just like with the weather, but just also beautiful with just me, you know, um, speaking to the father, trying to hear from the father. Um, but around 6.30, um, I just started to get like really big headaches. I had to go make a run. Um, so around 7 o'clock, I had to go out. And around 7.30, I made it back home. And I was like, I'm done. Like, I'm going to go lay down. And um, I went ahead and lay down. And let the kids stay up a little, maybe like an hour. So they laid down around 8.30. I did go to sleep because the children were still up. I had to get them ready for bed. But um, went to bed really early. So that's why I'm up really early. So um, I say around 8.30, um, I was in the bed and was able to get up around 2.45. And um, around 3 o'clock, 3.15, um, I went ahead and went into prayer. And um, But I wanted to just say that how on day 6, the end of day six I um, just started to have headaches and just started to feel nauseous um, and I've been drinking more water so I don't know if I still need water um, usually when I have headaches I kind of associate it with um, me needing more water but since I'm doing this fast I don't know if it's like detox or if it's water or if it's like I'm not sure but I did want to uh, mention that I'm okay this morning um, I have my water here I need to start drinking it um, but I want to go into some of the things that I have really been um, just kind of praying about, meditating on, and things that I want to do better um, as I go through the fast. And the first thing is pray, praying. Um, I want to make sure that I am taking every opportunity to pray and speak to the Father because that's what this is about. Um, I think because this is such a long fast, like if it was a three-day fast, and of course, I'm going to be praying more because I'm not eating. Like if I was just doing a three-day water fast, I'm not eating, and it's like, oh, I'm reaching out to the Father. You know, every time I get hungry or want to eat, temptations, it, it, it draws me closer to the Father. Like I have to pray in order to get through those um, temp tempting moments. But because this is like a, um, a lifestyle, you know, 21 days is a long time. That you can kind of get get used to a flow, but I want to make sure that I am really intentional in setting um, some time to pray. Like I need to be in prayer more. Um, and um, I'm back in the day, whew, years ago, I used to have my lawn set um, three times a day to pray, and I think I will start doing that again. Um, but after a while, though, I will say just after a while, you kind of get used to those alarms, and you don't really. Um, pray when those alarms go off it's like okay yeah like you be doing something and your alarm will go off it's like okay I can't do it right now but I will do it in like 15 minutes and then come 15 minutes you don't forget to do it so um but it does help with just remembering to pray so I will go ahead and set some alarms on my phone so that it will just you know remind me that she needs to pray um I've heard people doing it every hour when they're doing like um shorter fasts like three-day fast they pray every hour and um, I, I don't know if I can do that. Like, I don't want to commit to that because every hour, like, that's, it will be constant. And I don't, I don't want to commit to that. But, um, like, I usually pray throughout the day anyway. Like, whenever I'm doing something, I'm intentional with praying whenever, before I leave. Um, before I get in, before I drive, I'm praying. Before I cook, I pray. Um, you know, I pray with the children. We're doing school. So I pray throughout the day um, already. But those are just like, I don't want to say generic, but those are just like regular prayers. These prayers need to be specific to what it is that I am um, requesting or petitioning. And they need to be um, really just speaking to the Father and praising the Father. So um, some, some, I just need to pray more during this fast, pray more. I need to pray more, you know, anyway, but specifically during a fast, I know that I need to um, implement more praying time with the Father. Um, also just kind of praying in the morning, like waking up and when I say, okay, praying in the morning, I would say before six o'clock, um, there's just something just different about that, like that the prayers are kind of different. Um, I've experienced to me they're they're different. So today I was up 
um, super early. So around 3.15, I said, let me go ahead and go into prayer. Um, and then then I went into worship, so I listened to some music. But um, those type of prayers, I feel as though, um, I want to say they're more sincere. And I don't know if it's because life hasn't started like everybody it's still sleep life hasn't started yet it's just me and i'm really able to just be focused on the father and pray as opposed to <clears throat> excuse me me praying throughout the day it's kind of like okay i have to wash these dishes but before i do that let me pray and then i like i'm i know that i'm scheduling the prayers if that makes sense so it's like um early in the morning those prayers is really i have nothing nothing but time right now you know there's there i'm not required to do anything during this time but sleep so you know everybody around the house is expecting me to be sleep so because there's no expectations for me i can really focus on you so i really want to start making sure that i am up um early enough to set some time to pray specifically in the morning um i also noticed that um i eat when i'm not hungry um, I've mentioned how before I started to do this fast, I was intermittent fasting for some months. So my body is used to not eating until later. Um, I know the day before yesterday, I ate around 3 o'clock p.m. And then today came noon. I wasn't hungry. I said, I'm not really hungry. Um, you know, maybe I'll, I'll eat later and around 1 o'clock. Um, I wasn't hungry, but it was like, okay, let me go ahead and make something to eat, right? Cause I kind of just, I felt like I could have went longer. Um, also around 5.30, around 5.30, I ate again. I had some snacks in between that, but around 5.30, I said, okay, let me go ahead and let me just go ahead and eat again. Um, but I'm not really feeling hungry, like. I, and I don't know if it's something I have to get used to or if it's something that I need to relearn. Um, I also, just to, just to put it out there, like I also don't know if, um, I, I also don't know if, I also don't know if I am aware of what it feels like to be hungry, if that makes sense. In my head, it didn't make sense. So that's why I was hesitant to say it. But what I'm trying to say is that because my body... Okay, before, whenever I was eating like regular foods, I noticed that I would be hungry more often, which is weird. But the more I ate, the more I ate. Like the more I ate, the more hungry I was. I felt hungry. Um, at least I felt symptoms in my body that I associate with hunger. Um... Now that I am eating cleaner and I'm not eating like any meats, I don't know if this is something that I have to learn that I really, my hunger pains are not going to feel like regular hunger pains. It's going to like be something different. Or is it that, um, I don't know. I, I, I guess I just have to figure it out. Because I remember last time I did the Daniel fast, um, I ate, um, kind of, I want to say constantly, I ate constantly, but again, it was clean eating. I also was nursing at that time, so that could that could affect it too. Because I was nursing at the time, I had to make sure that I was actually eating so that I could feed my child. But like I said, um, I don't know. But I, I I did realize that I was eating when I wasn't hungry, and this is something that I do want to um, break away from. So. Um, Something that I, I'm really going to be intentional on is because sometimes it's convenient for me to eat now. Like if I'm feeding everybody else, I'm already here, you know, cooking. Let me go ahead and cook the food now. I can eat it while it's hot. And just because everybody else is eating at this time, it's just easier as opposed to me to go in there three hours later and then do it. But I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure out all that out. But I just wanted to mention that I do notice that um, I'm not hungry as much and I eat when I'm not hungry. Um, I also am praying for ways that I can be a blessing. Um, scripture tells us that you know when we're fasting, we need to be 
um, giving. We need to be um, blessing others. I was able to bless someone last week, but I want to make sure that, you know, I'm able to just continue to bless throughout the fast. And I've prayed to the Father, asked him to ask that he would, um, you know, provide me someone that I'm able to bless. Like send someone to me that, that's in need of something that I can bless them in some way. Um, that doesn't have to be like money. Um, it can be anything else, you know, that I can be a blessing um, a way that I can bless someone. So I really want to make sure that I am intentional and in making sure that um, I am giving during this fast. Um, so those are my notes that I have written down and, um, it's going, it's going good. Like, um, I also just want to mention how I feel as though I have so much more time. Me letting go of like the work aspect of my life. Um, I still have members, um, members clubs and, um, courses that I had going on my, uh, one of my courses recently ended but I was only working I was only doing what I had to do for those people you know who were um, paying me for for a service I had to make sure I showed up for them but as far as kind of being on Facebook you know scrolling and um, posting and responding I'm not doing any of that and it has made me so happy um, I think I'm going to do a whole nother video on just social media and just my experience with it because it hasn't been something that, that was fun. Like, I feel as though um, it's it wasn't working for me. And this morning I was just writing down my notes so on my whiteboard of just how um, this is a reason, there's a reason why that is. And I think I'm just going to do a whole nother video explaining my intake on um, my social media journey um, just as far as um, how the father has used so, so use certain social medias to prepare me for what's to come um, and to get me ready for where I actually need to be so um, I'll do another video about that but um, yeah it's been good I'm on day seven the morning of day, of day seven I'm excited to um, continue this out and I am even more excited about uh, me implementing these prayers and these blessings um, or me be being a blessing and I'm seeing how that affects the rest of the fast but I'm going to let you guys go and um, I'll talk to y'all later bye